Okay, uh, this is about stacking the dog when the judge is vi uh, looking at the dog. Um, ideally speaking, and this is all just for fun, but you want the legs, front legs and back legs to be parallel to each other. Notice how Gobel's back legs are not perfectly parallel. Judy's going to move them right now. Uh, you don't want the legs too far apart, uh, either the both front or the both back, and you don't want them, you don't want the, you don't want it too wide, like that one, or too narrow, like this position. You want it where, you want the legs to be where natural. the natural look of the dog is, or the, you also don't want the, the toes pointing in opposite directions. Uh, ideally speaking, um, you want them parallel to each other. So Gobo is slightly off-centered here. Ideally speaking, you want it more parallel. In terms of the head, the judge is looking for the ears straight up, slightly tilted on from the side view, like Gobo's is. Um, looking for how to hide the ears, all the triangulations. You want the full, you don't want the head pointed far, farther down and you want the head all the way up. A judge is looking at the face so to judge all those triangles on the on the Akita's face. Um, so you, now Judy's baiting and uh, UKC typically allows egg, uh, baiting but we're not going to do it this year in 2013. Uh, and Akiho doesn't allow baiting. So you're just going to have to practice. The position. Now, this is highly speaking. This is all just for fun. Um, again, the judge is judging the dog, not the handler. Um, but when you practice at home, you can use bait, so they get used to it in the ring. And then the, eventually, the dog hopefully will just follow your fingers, maybe perhaps, but not the bait itself. <laughs>